Hey, this is Matt Sex with a new One Punch Man, the strongest video. And as you are aware, the Zombie Man rerun is going. I've talked about that previously. And of course, they're following it up with his keepsake being released. So starting today, you'll be able to get some keepsake vouchers for free. It begins on the 17th, which is today, through the 24th. So log in to get those. And of course, the Recruit itself white trench coat is coming February 18th and leaves on February 25th. It will allow you to go ahead and recruit this keepsake for Zombie Man. But the big question is, should you be going for this keepsake? So what does this keepsake do for Zombie Man? Well, for his Ultra Ultimate, what it's going to do, and probably the biggest part of it, is it takes your heal from 100% to 150% of attack, which is good. Don't get me wrong, it's solid, nothing wrong with that. It also increases your attack up to 300%. But the problem is, is it really worth it? Well, in the grand scheme of things in this game currently, and that this is the rerun, and that we have more important keepsakes coming down the road, especially when Red Mosquito Girl releases. That is a must get keepsake. It is really hard to put value on this for what they charge for their keepsakes. To me, for a free to play, this is a way, 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 way hard no. Not even consider it. If you're a dolphin, and Zombie Man is a primary that you'd like to use and can see you using him even in the change in meta, it's a, probably a hard maybe still. And of course, if you're a whale, you're gonna do it either way. It doesn't really make a difference what anybody else thinks. But it again, it's a good keepsake, but it is not a necessity, okay? Yes, that extra 50% in heal on attack, off of attack, is really good because that's what Zombie Man's there for, to keep your team alive and to be that brick wall on your front line. But with the change in meta coming, and I did a prior video about what we should be seeing over the next 30 to 90 days, it is really hard to even give a, a thumbs up for this keepsake to get. Right now, you should be planning for the future, okay? Not currently. The meta is going to change significantly and so to sit and invest in a keepsake that in the long run is going to be less bang for your buck so to speak and ones that are going to be absolute necessities to get is really hard to give any sort of yeah, go get this keepsake because it's just not worth it given where this game is going to be going. Let me know in the comments if you're going to go for this keepsake or you are in the hard, let's build resources mode, let's focus on what's coming down the pike mode. That's where I'm at right now. At this point, I'm just hoarding resources because I don't want to get caught off guard especially once we see who really is going to be coming out in March. We don't know yet. They haven't given us any true indication or hints so far, but hopefully maybe next week we'll get those. And let's keep our fingers crossed. It is not RMG, and they hold off another month. I think that would be the wise choice in this game if they held off for about another 30 days before we start seeing the heavy hitters come in and the major change in the meta. Alrighty, with that as always, please like and subscribe, it helps so much. Take care and have a great day.